There's a hit on that one, Jay. Yeah, flag up. Oh yeah. I love my tip-ups. The HT Polar tip-up is the best of all time, but they've come up with a new system that is super fun because you get to go hand-to-hand -hand combat with your fish. And this is just one of many species that you can get on the HT ice rigger system. Nice burbot, I'm gonna get it back. We're on the spawning shoal and this one needs to go back to make some more. Today's dead bait camp location is the edge of a large main lake flat where it suddenly drops into deep water. This location is an area where large predators will be found all season long. Cut your holes from shallow to deep anywhere from 5 to 30 feet. Concentrate your spread of lines once fish begin to show up at a certain depth. It's as though we were using the regular style tip-ups, the traditional tip-ups. Uh, quick strike rig. This is uh, 80 pound fluorocarbon. Has become very, very popular among the, the uh, pike fraternity. And I hook one back far enough that the bait will sit nose down. Now there are times of the year where we, we want them in the middle so that they'll sit uh, horizontal. I've got a big swivel, 20 pound braided line, a medium action reel, and uh, a 36 inch HT Big Eye Pro rod, uh, fiberglass rod, very uh, forgiving. Okay, so I have my ice rigger here, and really what it is, is a rod holder, a trip mechanism, and a flag on a little plank. And when this is all put together, it is a deadly unit. And setting up is very, very quick. I put my rod in the rod holder, open my bale until the, the bait is on the bottom. When the bait's on the bottom, I just, just tighten up on it by spinning my bale. The uh, Big Eye Pro Touch HT rod that I prefer for this job, and these guides that are very, very close together are ideally suited for this job because I want my bait two feet off the bottom. So when I pull the line between those guides down to my trip mechanism, and I've modified this one a little bit with some shrink tube, so it's a little more sensitive for some of my other presentations that I do. I bring that down, bring the flag down to the trip mechanism. Everything's held in place, and when that little trip arm comes up and over, it's gonna trip the flag and it's gonna pull the line free. And the final thing, don't forget, is open the bale of the reel. So now that this is perfectly set, I wanna show you one last thing that we've added to our program. It's called an ice quiver. And this is actually originally made for uh, duck decoys. It sets off ripples in the water and keeps our hole from freezing. So I just set it in the hole and it keeps that line clear. There's a fish, he's just hanging on there. He quit running now. So I'm gonna lift it up and out. And I just pick up on that fish and I've got hooks. Keep those hooks tight. Oh, he's really bouncing there. I'm gonna get that ice quiver out of the hole. He's near the bottom. And I do like that long soft rod for this so that uh, when that fish grabs it and starts pulling on it until the ice rigger releases, it'll just pull softly on that rod and finally take off. Just taking right off, look at that thing. One or two more runs like that, it's gonna be done. Big fish. Came up flat underneath the hole. When I went to try and get her head in there, she took a big run. There she comes. And that is the kind of fish you can catch 
with finely tuned <laughs> dead bait pro presentations. And if you're not using the HT ice rigger with uh, normal rod and reel, you're missing out on some awesome, awesome pike rod reel fun. 43 by 20. That is, she's got some of my blood on her. I got my finger out of, in the wrong spot. Fresh ice will come off real quick. And she's gone.